Injury to the lumbar discs of the spine can often leave patients wondering if they will ever be able to effectively function again. Although surgeons have numerous options available in the treatment of damaged discs, the key to successfully repairing that damage is through matching the patient's needs with the correct procedure. For patients with otherwise healthy spines, one available option, known as motion segment replacement, may restore their spinal mobility to a higher degree. The AMAP, Anterior Motion Segment Replacement System, can give patients this option. Designed to replace the entire disc, the AMAB is a metal-on-metal -metal prosthesis that is similar to a ball and socket joint. The design rationale of the AMAB prosthesis is summarized as follows. Metal-on-metal -metal design of components. Posterior center of rotation. A hydroxyapatite coating on areas contacting bone. And a streamlined surgical technique. The metal-on-metal -metal design is based on decades of experience with total joint arthroplasty and is shown to produce less wear than polyethylene devices. The posterior center of rotation is designed to restore normal kinematic movement to the spine while rebalancing facet loading. It also allows the surgeon a tolerable zone when placing the device. Additionally, the 50 micron thick highly crystalline HA coating provides excellent bone device fixation. But the most important issue resolved in the design of the AMAP is the ease with which the prosthesis is implanted. Using a streamlined surgical technique, the surgeon performs a discectomy with the patient in the supine position. With the aid of coronal plane fluoroscopy, the midline of the spine is accurately located a centering pin inserted, and the centered line location of both vertebral bodies is marked. The pin is then removed and a template is used to identify the lateral margins of the discectomy to guide the incision of the annulus. Prior to incising the annulus, the disc material is separated from the bone using a disc end plate elevator. Disc material is then removed to the posterior ligament using a pituitary rongeur. With the disc space cleared, Ligamentous adhesions are released using a blunt nose scraper to allow the operative level to move naturally. After the disc space has been properly cleared, the surgeon can verify the angle of the AMAF prosthesis by checking the disc space with trial spacers. Correctly matching the component to the patient is made easy with a number of size and angle combinations available to surgeons. The 4-in-1 guide can be assembled and used to determine the correct prosthesis angle, measure the AP depth, measure height distraction, and guide chiseling. The guide is first positioned on the center line of the operative level. Using the guide's depth stops, its distal edge is aligned to the posterior margin of the vertebral end plate. With the guide correctly positioned, distraction of the disc space can proceed. Preparation of the vertebrae is performed using keel and corner chisels placed into paths on the guide and driven into the vertebrae. At the discretion of the surgeon, the cuts can be made with separate keel and corner chisels or both cuts can be made with a combination chisel. Following the cuts, the 4-in-1 guide may be left in place until the AMAV device is ready to be implanted. There are 18 sizes of the superior component and 6 of the inferior. The AMAB's inferior and superior components are placed onto a block implant holder. With the prosthesis held steady by the holder, it can be attached to the inserter. As an option, the prepared disc can be held open using a shim distractor. The prosthesis is then driven into the space. The posterior margin of the prosthesis should be placed as close as possible to the posterior longitudinal ligament. Lateral fluoroscopy can be used to determine the correct positioning. From the path of the implant placement, it is seen why removal of the posterior osteophytes prior to insertion was a requirement. The AMAB, Anterior Motion Segment Replacement System from Medtronic Sophomore Danic, is an option available to those who suffer degenerative disc disorder in the lumbar region of the spine. It is one of the few options that can give people with otherwise healthy spines a chance to maintain a range of motion and mobility.